Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of my Minecraft tutorial on how to make a combination lock. This time we will be using buttons, which is a lot more secure. So to start off, you're going to need to build four 2x4 two four trenches, just like this. And then place repeaters all along the spaces here. Okay, so once you have the repeaters placed, you're going to want to cover these trenches with a block, doesn't really matter, some sort of block. Just like that. Okay, so once you cover the trenches with a block, put redstone on top of them. and then dig down once in front of them all okay now we're going to need to build our four digit keypad which is going to require buttons just like that and then place two blocks along the side and cover the back with redstone torches and place redstone on these two blocks Okay, perfect. So now what I'm going to want my password to be is 1324. Okay, so number 1 is this first lane. So just place a block underneath there and bring out your redstone. Number 3 is this lane. And place a block and put your redstone down and then put your block back oh yeah and I forgot to tell you make sure you remove the redstone torch off the top and number two is this line right here and so I'll remove that And then the last one is this row right here. Alright, perfect. Now they should all work the same. Alright, perfect, so they all work properly. So the second part of making this is the R-Snore Latch Array. First, you're going to need to place four blocks on the first um, button and the second one and the third one and the fourth one fourth one okay then place your repeaters in front of the second and last and then place redstone torches on all of these and on the back of all of these okay now place repeaters in front of the torches and place a block in back of them and then uh, place redstone on top of all this and then your blocks on top of the repeaters okay now place your torches on all these and then we gotta make our AND gate which you put blocks between all these with a torch 
Okay. Now, this next part is you gotta go down twice there, and three blocks and two blocks. Now, make sure you do that. If you do not do this, then they can just guess the last number and it'll work. If you do this, then they have to put the exact password in. Okay, inside these trenches, place your repeater there and your redstone there. Redstone, redstone, repeater, and redstone. Okay, um, now place your redstone across here, and then to cut the, the line here so that it doesn't connect together, place a block on top. Okay, perfect. Now you can finish off the redstone. And then place redstone on top of these blocks. And so now, if I press the first block, it'll light up that torch. Third. Fourth. And... Or third, fourth. Okay, there we go. Now let me just reset this. Okay, so now we gotta make the whole reset part of this. Um, I'm gonna be using a red block. It doesn't really matter. It's just I use it to tell me to tell me exactly where I am. Okay. Place your red block on top there. And bring it all the way out. Just bring all these lines all the way across. Oh, right. perfect. Once you have all those brought all the way across the whole circuitry, you're going to want to cut it right here and then place a block on top of the end here and place a torch on each one and then place redstone on top of all this okay now on top of your reset line you're going to want to place a repeater over the torches. So place a repeater right here, right here, right there, and right here. Okay. And then you can bring your redstone all the way across. Okay, perfect. Now everything should be working perfectly. Let us go check. And first, first one lights up. Second, um, okay, it's not working perfectly. Um, I'm going to pause the video here to check what's wrong with it, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I figured out the problem. We forgot to place redstone torches along the top here. 
Now, uh, let me also make a line to a door with redstone. This is the last digit, which is the one that will open the door. Yeah, just place your line all the way, and then you can make a door. And Let me make some of these. I'm making these to extend the power. Okay. So now, when I type in the password, which is one, three, two, and four, it'll open the door just like that. And if you want to do the same thing we did in our last tutorial, which is close the door from the inside with a lever, just do this. It's pretty simple, actually. Um, let me get some levers. Just like that. And now when I flip the switch, it'll close the door. Okay. Thank you for watching. And if you... Oh yeah, and also if you want to make this longer, the password to be a nine-digit key or something, just add more trenches and just make the same thing just alongside here. Okay, thank you for watching, and if you like the video, please thumbs it up and subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment on what else you might want to see, or what you think about the video.